Yo, how's it going? I just found another Japanese version exclusive difference, and it has to do with Bottle's bonus here. So, on the Japanese version, um, you know how on English it gives you like Bottle's bonus one, right? And it doesn't really give you time to write it down, and that could, you know, be kind of bad if you want to, you know, enter the code if you don't remember it. And so what they did on the Japanese version is that if you, you know, go into Bottle's Bonus and you complete it, something interesting will happen. And I'll just pause or I'll uh, skip forward to that real quick. All right, now we're done with the puzzle. And once you're done with the puzzle, Bottles, Bottles is going to talk to us, probably saying the same stuff he says on English, but in Japanese. Um, but he's now going to tell us Bottles Bonus 1, but guess what? I'm stuck here. Uh, the only way to progress through this is to press A. So this is just a little uh, version difference where Bottles will just sit here until you're, you know, you're done writing it down. And then you just press A or B and you're, you know, done with the mini game. You go back to Bottle or Banjo's house. And I'm pretty sure this is here, one, because... If I, you know, if, if I spoke a different language than English, right, you know, if I spoke, like, French, you know, Japanese, Mandarin, it'd be kind of hard to, you know, remember Bottles Bonus 1. You know, it's, it's really easy for us English speakers just to remember stuff like that. Like, but if you're, you know, a Japanese player, and you just see Bottles Bonus 1, and then the text box closes, and you're like, wait, what does that even mean? You know, I don't even speak English, so, you know. This just gives you time to write it down, and it's probably just for the Japanese players because it's, you know, again, hard to, you know, write down something that you don't know the language of. And, um, yeah, what you can do with this, uh, this goes into the glitch hunting side of, of things, but the demo will just keep playing, and something interesting will happen at the very end of the demo, and uh, I guess I can show you that right now. All right, we're about to get to the end of the demo, and Banjo's shooting some eggs, but he's about to do a beak barge here, and you're going to see what, what's about to happen. Beak barge, he goes right out of bounds. <laughs> uh, I thought that was really interesting, because uh, you're not supposed to get out there during normal gameplay, and as you can see, you're out there during normal gameplay. And yeah, now the demo's ended, demo inputs is, are done, but I just want to show that because what I was thinking is that maybe we could use the bottles text box here to like lag the game somehow and then once he's outside there cause enough lag frames so that banjo just goes right into the void and voids out that in itself wouldn't be too big um we can do this with bottles bonus decent adventure in this room on the xbox version but what would be even more important is if we were able to do this in either the click clock wood demo or the rusty bucket bay demo because if you void out during in these mini games you go straight to uh, rusty bucket bear click clock woods even if you haven't even opened the level like you're just in there and it's it would be huge because n64 actually has no way to skip the water level currently um and if we can figure out a way to void out while we're you know close to the uh to the void out plane that would be or to the so there's loading zones here right but they're deactivated so you can just walk right through them and some of the doors don't actually have uh collision so you can just walk right through and go into the void and you know if you're able to do that on n64 and void out you know water level skip that would be really really huge and historic and i'm hoping that this can let us do it but it's just unfortunate it only works if maybe it could work on other versions, but I'm thinking maybe it could only work on the Japanese version because of this text box. But, um, but yeah, that's it. I just wanted to document this version change and then just some of the glitch hunting aspects of it. And yeah, and also this is not a thing on Xbox. It, I actually should probably check though to see if if it does this on on Xbox. Uh, if you turn on Japanese text, I actually am gonna try that right after this video. But I'll, I'll keep a comment down below to, to see if I find anything. But thanks, and uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye.